More on Campaign 2020, they have gone at it before. Donna Shalala and Maria Elvira Salazar. Shalala won the first round in 2018 and is the incumbent representative in District 27. Salazar making a second run, and as CBS 4's Hank Tester reports, the challenger says her experience as a Spanish language journalist will serve her well in Congress. They squared off two years ago, well-known TV journalist Republican Maria Alvira Salazar running against the now incumbent Congressional District 27 Democratic Representative Donna Shalala. I have been a journalist for 35 years. I know the topics very well. I have asked the tough questions so I can identify who the politicians are not telling us the truth. If elected, Salazar would go to Washington as a freshman lawmaker. Washington, a stage where Donna Shalala the former president of the University of Miami has been a player for years as a cabinet secretary, secretary of health and human services, later in charge of the Clinton Foundation. My experience in health care makes a difference in our community at this time. My experience also means that I'm not a freshman, that I don't need 20 years in Congress to have an impact. And how about the health care when health care is top of mind? And if you like your Obamacare, you keep your Obamacare. Because it's not true that I'm going to vote against taking Obamacare from you if there is not a better option on the table. We have the largest enrollment of Obamacare of any congressional district in the country. More than 100,000 people in District 27 get their health care through Obamacare. We cannot take that away in the middle of COVID-19. For challenger Salazar, a look beyond the coronavirus struggle. We got to wear the mask. We got to make the mask mandatory. Social distancing, absolutely. But in the meantime, let's go to work. She proposes job centers in the congressional offices that would funnel federal dollars and contracts into local businesses and to workers. I'm going to help you with this employment center that I'm going to create within my congressional office. Salazar spent much of her campaign focused on Representative Shalala's failure to report a series of personal stock transactions. And being part of the political elite. That political elite has not brought anything good for South Florida. I missed a deadline for filing, and I owned up to it. I took responsibility for it, and I, I put the information on my website. Done. Lots more on this important race and all the election news you might want. Go to our website, cbsmiami.com slash campaign 2020. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.